Hello folks, uh, today we're going to be talking about black powder uh, and kind of some of the numbers in relation to uh, the size of the powder. When I first started shooting black powder, I'd hear people talk about 2F, 3F, and 4F, and I had no earthly idea what they was talking about. Once I got to shooting some and then talking to people that had been shooting for years, uh, I found out that the higher the number uh, granule size was the finer the powder. Uh, for example, 4F is, I shoot Go-X, uh, and I've been shooting Go-X ever since I started shooting black powder, and I've always had good service out of it, but starting with 4F, it's real fine. It would be, if I was having a flintlock with a frizzing pan, uh, that would be my priming powder for my frizzing pan. It's uh, going down next, the number three, uh, shooting 31, 32 caliber up to 50 caliber, uh, I would use 3F. And then typically when I jump 50 caliber and above, uh, if I'm shooting my Hawking rifle or say my 58 infield, then I'm going to use 2F. Uh, it's a little coarser. And then you have 1F. Uh, and it's basically, from what I understand, it's just used for cannons uh, of something of that nature. So I don't shoot cannons, so I don't have any 1F. But uh, just uh, the higher the number, the finer the granule, and then uh, you can just go from there. Uh, a good rule of thumb uh, is how I like to start out and how I was kind of taught is if I'm shooting a rifle, I do one grain per caliber rifle. So if I'm shooting a 50 grain or 50 caliber Hawking, I'm gonna shoot 50 grains of black powder. Now for your pistol, it will be half that. So if I'm shooting my 50 caliber you know, mountain pistol, then I'm gonna shoot 25 grains. So you just cut it in half uh, and then you can work from there. Uh, rifles are different, just like people. Uh, some likes more powder, some likes less powder. So that's something you kinda of gotta work out with your own. But uh, next thing we'll talk about uh, is how we're gonna get the powder uh, to her muzzle and there's several different ways and it's it's everybody's opinion what they feel comfortable with uh, you can use the old traditional powder horn uh, everybody knows and seen seen the old mountain men carry these uh, you basically just dispensing your powder uh, in the old movies you just pour it straight down the barrel I, I don't do that I like to use a, uh, a pre-measured powder spout to put it in and then go to my barrel I want to know how much powder how many grains of powder I'm going in there uh, but it's uh, it's the more traditional look if you like that right there. Now, probably my favorite is the powder flask. Uh, I like these here. Uh, this one here will carry about a about a half a pound of powder, and it's just got a spring loaded little valve. Uh, very easy to work. I can just put my finger over the end of it, and I can open that up, and then when I turn it upside down, flip it over. I've got that much powder. So you can get the little uh, little flask spout, a little just pre-measured. This one here is a 15 grain, but you can get them up to uh, 70 grain. Uh, this here's a 40 grain. So whenever I fill that up, look, it's filled, then I know I've got 40 grain of powder or whatever I'm shooting. If I'm putting a 50 on there, it, it's, it takes the guesswork out of it. Now you can also have the little cylinder flask, you might say. This is a small one. They make some that's a little bit bigger than this right here. Same concept as this here. Your little spouts just screw right in the top, spring loaded just like that right there. Uh, now, if I've got a rifle that I'm trying to work up a load, trying to, you know, see what it likes best, how many grains of powder, I like the little pre-measured uh, little spouts here. It's got a little graduated from 10 grain all the way up to 120 grain. And uh, so you can get down, you know, 55 grain, 50 grain, you know, just whatever you want to do. Uh, but I like this when I'm, when I'm working up a load, uh, and then that way I can take that, whatever I learned that day at the range, and then, you know, buy a spout. And, and, and then what if I'm gonna shoot somewhere, then, then I know what I, my rifle's gonna be doing. Uh, that is how I like it. Like I said, you can pick these up. Uh, Midway USA, Track of the Wolf. Uh, if you're like me, there's not a lot of gun stores around me. I use Deer Creek and Marietta, which is good good ways for me, but uh, that's where I pick up all my, my black powder stuff. So if you can find somebody local, it's nice. You can go and talk to somebody, but uh, especially with your powder. Uh, I've never tried to mail order you know black powder. Uh, I would imagine it would be uh, an act of Congress to get it mailed to you, but I'm sure you could. But uh, but if you can find a distributor, something about black powder uh, is if you shoot, I'll shoot the old traditional Go X, and this stuff's nasty, uh, but it smokes. I like to smell the smoke when I'm shooting, and uh, but after I shoot, it, it's it's nasty. You got to really stay up on your on your firearms. It's very corrosive. Uh, I'll maybe if I'm gonna shoot, you know, if I'm on the weekend, I'm gonna shoot maybe a Saturday and Sunday, then I might just wipe it down that night and then shoot some more that Sunday. But if I'm gonna leave it any length of time, I'm gonna give it a good cleaning, uh, and then, you know, oil it up and then, and then put it up because 
if you leave this stuff for any length of time, you know, the rust will really set in on it. But it's excellent powder. I love it. There's a lot of different other than Go-X out there. That's just what I started out with, and that's kind of what I stuck with. So uh, I hope this helps you out. Uh, take care and be safe.